Columbo is a mystery show. Although we know who the murderer is, usually, we still expect to be titillated by clever deductions and, eventually, a slam-bang final clue. But there are some mysteries that are simply never solved, and one of the most bizarre is… what's the big deal about this flashlight? Today on Echoes of Columbo, we try to unravel the riddle of the lieutenant and the torch. You should all know this scene, do you? It takes place in season 8's Grand Deceptions. After a chat with this 1980s sitcom dad, Columbo is called over by his crime scene crew. Lieutenant! We found it, sir! Then, he does something that has perplexed viewers the world over. This object that I have in my hand is a flashlight, is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you all see that? Yes, yes sir. Online commenters and even published authors are baffled by this moment. Why was it included? What does it mean? Is it just useless padding? Can we dismiss it as one of those oddball new episode moments? No! The scene has practical, dramatic, and even insightful aspects, but first we need to get a feel for where it fits in the busy flow of this criminally conucopic Columbo case. Okay, so Colonel Frank Braley runs a training camp for paramilitary wackos, kind of like the bad guy in Under Siege 2, but he also runs a sort of neocon think tank on behalf of General Paget, who's a famous old war hero with a young wife, and Braley's sleeping with the wife and also stealing from the General's foundation. So the General hires Sergeant Keegan, who's also the Admiral in Under Siege 2, to spy on Braley, but Keegan gets greedy and tries to blackmail Braley instead, so Braley pretends he's setting up a present for the General and stabs Keegan in the heart, throws his flashlight away, and tosses him into an explosive pit that's part of some training exercise, and a toy falls over on the table. The practical importance of the flashlight to the plot is that it destroys Braley's accident accidental death scenario. Columbo concludes that the explosion couldn't have propelled it under a rock, meaning it was murder. It's also important dramatically because during this initial encounter, Columbo comes across as a rambling fool. You know the responsibility of leading your men. Well, mostly the men I lead. That'd it just be me, sir. I see. Braley's confidence is bolstered and he starts to leave, but then he turns back and hears Columbo making a mysteriously big deal about this flashlight, which Braley had evidently never considered. Robert Foxworth's acting speaks volumes here. We see him shaken, if only for a moment. Now why does Columbo do it? One theory is that it's a nonsensical moment not uncommonly seen in the later shows, like when Columbo meets Little Richard. But the flashlight is an important clue, and the scene doesn't last long enough to be just killing time. Another explanation? It's all a Columbo mind game intended to put the killer off guard. But keep in mind, Columbo doesn't suspect Braley until the next scene when he's spotted cleaning mud off the victim's floor. I thought that was peculiar for someone as arrogant as you are. The most likely solution to the flashlight puzzle is that Columbo is simply practicing good evidence management, and that's what confuses a lot of people. The show usually doesn't focus on in-depth police procedures. We're used to the Columbo who cracks an egg with the murder weapon, but he doesn't seem quite so fumbling in this scene, does he? We don't often see him so competent. There's a taste of verisimilitude here that the show usually lacks, taking pictures, having witnesses corroborate the discovery, handling it carefully, like Orson Welles in the Black Museum, which extolled the virtues of patience and routine. Patience and more patience. Patience and routine were bringing results. The lieutenant kicks the scene off by emphasizing his dogged persistence. Search and look, look and search for whatever might explain the circumstances. We're reminded that Columbo probably has to do this kind of stuff all the time. It just happens off screen. I was always delighted by this insight. The scene is so completely unique. If I didn't already own a Columbo painting, I'd love to have one of this moment. There's something almost iconic about the way he brandishes the flashlight, his underlings circling around him in awe. Simply beautiful. It's a scene that fans need to relish. The curiously important flashlight serves to illuminate not just the case at hand, it shines an interesting and unique light on the lieutenant himself. Of course, some might say the real mystery in the episode is how Columbo gets his own figurine in the Civil War diorama, but hey, come on, it's just a show. Mr. Keegan's flashlight. His flashlight? His flashlight, sir. 